Hey Cancer, welcome to your mid-monthly reading for November 2022. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys for the rest of the month. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. So we have number 57, Unmarked Trail with Revelation. Bottom of the deck, we have number 46, which says Root Girl, the Disowned Self. Let's see what else is going on for you, Cancer. We have Fruition with Harvest Moon. Number 37 with uh, Boundaries here at the bottom of the deck, number 12. Okay. So some of you have it's almost like maybe there's a sense of this kind of feeling of getting back on track. I feel like things could be starting to come into fruition or things are starting to move a little bit here for you. Um, I feel with the boundaries energy and the disowned self, it's like you've set some boundaries possibly in your life or like whether this is in your career or your relationships um, that are like helping you get back to feeling more like yourself or recharging your energy that sort of thing um and i almost feel for some of you it's like you're maybe kind of entering into this unmarked territory where you know maybe things are really because you've set these boundaries it's like things are really starting to play out in a good a good way for you there could be a new path that you're kind of wandering down here with this revelation but let's see what the tarot has for you, Cancer. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords. So some clarity and some good ideas. We have the Moon. Nine of Cups. Four of Wands. The Lovers. Seven of Cups. Four of Cups. And the Ten of Cups bottom of the deck here we have the two of pentacles okay so I definitely feel like I feel like things are going to start to come together there's this sense of emotional fulfillment nine of cups ten of cups that I almost feel like you are trying to achieve here or something that again you may have some sort of good idea some of you may have like an intuitive hit okay ace of swords and the moon this could come after a time of kind of being by yourself or going through a sense of um just rest and healing and recalibration maybe you've taken a t time off or taken a break and so there's almost a sense of clarity that I feel like it's coming in with this ace of swords and the moon and again it could be like an internal sense of clarity like through your intuition that sort of thing and i almost feel like it's leading you into this direction of like nine of cups four of wands and the lovers like what it is that you really want to connect with what is success what is achievement what is fulfillment for yourself what is going to bring that dream or that goal kind of like to life uh, the lovers can be a sense of aligning yourself with higher purpose or just getting into an alignment space it definitely can mean soulmates and stuff as well so if it's like a person there's a relationship that you're looking at getting into it's about aligning to the right person for yourself um but it's almost like you're having this more of like an epiphany rather than like the opportunity is like coming in it's like more of an epiphany that i almost feel like you're having and this like you're going to be starting to walk down this path moving forward um, because with this two pentacles at the bottom it's almost like a change needs to be made with the high priestess it's like you probably know that this change needs to be made here um, and kind of this new path may have to you may have to like physically start taking action towards it there's not really any action cards here truthfully right now so um, with the seven of cups, four of cups, and the ten of cups this is about, you know, what makes you happy? What is your ten of cups? There's, there could be a little bit of you questioning what that is for yourself, especially with the seven and the four of cups. It's kind of like, if you've been unhappy, it's like, what is going to be the thing that fulfills you? I feel like there's some clarity coming in around that. 
And then it's just about, again, taking that action, like I said, towards this unmarked path here. Right, so you, you might be getting an idea around what it is that you want for yourself um, and what's going to make you happy and bring happiness into your life. And now it's just a matter of like finding that and going after that. So let's clarify this Ace of Swords here for Cancer. Why is this Ace of Swords here for Cancer? Why is the Ace of Swords here? We have the Three of Swords. So some of you are definitely healing. Queen of Cups, yeah. Emotionally, you could be healing from something that's maybe happened, but it's like gaining you a sense of insight and allowing you to move forward. There's a sense of, like I said, clarity that's coming in around what you want to bring into your life. What makes you happy? Clarify this Four of Wands. Yeah, Six of Swords. See, you're headed in this direction, okay? So it might not be present in your life right now, okay? I feel like this is where you're starting to, like I said, set boundaries um, and starting to move into this direction to bring in these things that you're trying to create for yourself or even just this feeling. Yeah, Knight of Wands with the lovers. So when you find this wish fulfillment or this this when the opportunity arises when the opportunity comes forward you're gonna know there's gonna be a sense of passion that you want to move in this direction you want to go down this path eight of cups here so when you find that thing then there will be action that you're going to be like inspired to take but in the meantime it's more about gaining that sense of clarity around what you do and don't want um, let's see what this Four of Cups is here for you, Cancer. Yeah, Judgment. Hmm, Six of Cups. Some of you may have to let go of something emotionally from the past in order to experience something better. It feels like the, the thing in the, of the past only got you so far emotionally. So there's kind of that like being reborn into this new world, right? In order to get towards your 10 of cups here. Why the seven of cups for cancer? Yeah, justice. So if you're kind of in this transition phase, it's like having, it's like, what's the right decision? Seven of cups and the justice card, like logically having to make sense of almost like your emotions. And making a good decision around, again, what you do and don't want, what's going to lead you to your happiness and your dream and what isn't. Why Ten of Cups? Yeah, Nine of Swords. There could be fears, worries around this. Some of you, it's like fears and worries around uh, whether you're going to find something like this is what I'm getting. We also have Temperance and we have the World card that came out with that. So... I feel like this is saying there's a little bit of fear around stepping into this new energy, this new world for yourself. Okay, there's a little bit of fear around that or just stress because it's new, you know, like it, it definitely could be different. I'm getting it's very different from maybe what you've experienced. You know, putting yourself first can be sometimes a little bit scary if it's uncomfortable, right? Like things that are fearful or bring up stress and worry are usually just because they've it's different for us. It, it's something we're not used to experiencing. So um, I feel like with this temperance, it's saying, you know, give yourself time, be patient, allow, allow this to like just naturally unfold. Okay, you'll know when the time is right, like I said, to take action on this thing that you are going to feel uh, called towards here. I feel like for some of you, this could maybe just be an idea at this point, but then when the thing physically comes in or you feel ready to go after that thing, like if something you have to create, there's going to be a point in time where you're like, you feel like the timing is right to move forward. You feel inspired to move forward, to make the change. For some of you though, like I said, it's just an idea right now and you haven't t done the action part of it. We have the Ten of Wands here with this Nine of Cups as well as the Nine of Pentacles. So some of you, 
there's a lot that you're personally carrying. And again, there could be a lot of like responsibilities or a lot of things that you have been carrying that again, you've maybe had to set some sort of boundary here for to be able to put yourself first or to be able to go after what your dreams and what your goals are, okay? Um, so definitely I feel like there's something around you starting to put yourself first, what it is that you, with especially with this disowned self, like parts of you that you've put on the back burner in order to put other people's needs first, okay? I feel like you're kind of reprioritizing things and there's going to be something that you feel passionately called towards, whether that's a person or a situation, something you want to create, um, maybe moving or going, on, like, you know, moving into a home, that sort of thing. There's something that you feel drawn towards or you will feel drawn towards. You're going to gain this clarity around it and then that's going to be this new path and it's just a matter of making that decision and finding that right decision for yourself of what suits you and your needs so that is pretty much what i have for you cancer hopefully that resonates let me know down below if not you can check out any of the other signs but i hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching liking subscribing and i'll see you all in the next one bye